guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to be creating my first Halloween set of the year. So you'll see there, I've started off by using Madame Glam's My Oh My, which is this gorgeous dusky sort of pink. As always guys, I'll do the first coat on camera and I should do the second coat off camera just to save time. In fact, to be honest, this really did not need two coats. I've found with nearly all the Madame Glam gel polishes that I've got, one coat, they're nearly all one coaters. Really nice. I'm really enjoying working with these. They're so creamy and opaque, all of them. So now I'm using the Madame Glam's black gel paint. I haven't got Madame Glam's black or white gel polish, so I thought I'd use the black gel paint for this. I'm a bit out of shot there. So I did two coats of that, did second coat off camera. Now I'm going to give those three a coat of the Madame Glam's shiny top coat because I want to go over these three with some Aurora pigment. Now when I'm applying this top coat, I need to make sure that I get every part of the nail. I need to make sure I cover it all because if I miss any, then the pigment's not going to stick to it. They've all been cured in the lamp for 30 seconds and now I'm rubbing this pigment into that cured top coat. I'm loving the effect that gives over that my oh my. How pretty is that guys? So now I'm using the Madame Glam's white gel paint. And I just want to say, look how opaque this gel paint is. Wow, over a black base. It's, it's just crazy. I cannot believe how opaque it is. And it's not like really thick either. It still applies nice and thin and smooth. Look at that. Perfect coverage. Perfect. So I'm now drawing a ghost, a ghosty ghost. And then I'm going to fill it in with white, as you can see there. Now on this nail, I'm drawing a cobweb. Oh, I'm not kidding you guys. This took me ages and ages to get right. I must have wiped it off a good five times. So I found this is probably the easiest way to get it as even as I could. So I end up doing a cross and then a cross diagonal if that makes sense do some arms that way a bit like a snowflake that's the best way of describing it and then once i've done the arms i shall join them with the cobwebs i'm really not explaining this very well but you'll see what i'm doing anyway in a minute So I'm just going to pop that in the lamp to flash cure. Now I'm using the Madame Glam's black gel paint again. And I'm going to be painting the face to the ghost. Now I want these features to look like the Mickey Mouse features.
So now that's been flash cured, I'm just going to join the rest of these cobwebs up. I just wanted to flash cure it in case I wasn't happy with anything. I can just rub it off and I haven't got to start from scratch again. So I just find once I'm happy with each section, I'll just give it a quick flash cure in the lamp for about 12 seconds. And it'll just hold it all in place. Now again, on this one, I'm going to be doing a cobweb, but I'm only going to be doing about the bottom two thirds. I think after creating this set, I never ever want to do a cobweb again. They look so easy to do. They look really easy, but they're not as easy as they look, guys. I don't think I ever want to see a cobweb again in my life. It was so stressful. So now I'm going to flash cure that. Now I'm doing a line going down. I just wanted to mark out where I wanted this line so it's central. And then on the end of that, I'm going to be doing a Mickey Mouse spider. So I'm just using my dotting tool here to get a nice even round circle. And then I'm going to use the other side of the dotting tool, which is a smaller dotting tool, to create the ears like there and then I'm gonna get my really fine detailer brush because I need the legs to be super super fine and I'm just gonna drag through the gel paint that's already there from the body and that's the legs all done so that's my little spiddy all done so I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds now on this one I'm gonna be painting a bat a Mickey Mouse bat I was out of shot for a lot of this, so I've cut a lot of it out, as you'll probably see. But I've kept in as much as I could, so you can kind of see how I painted him. So I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Now I'm using Madame Glam's My Oh My, which is that dusky pink again. And I've popped a little bit on my palette. Now I'm using my dotting tool again. And I'm just going to paint some dots. So I've not cured them dots and I'm going to be sprinkling some of this clear acrylic into them and it'll just leave like a kind of matte effect. 
So I just wait for that to soak into that wet gel polish. And then you'll see it starts to go a little bit shiny again. So just give it another sprinkle until it looks really matte. And then I'll give that a double cure in the lamp. So I'll give that 60 seconds in an LED lamp. And that will cure that all in place. Again, I'm using Madame Glam's My Oh My, and I'm going to be painting this ghost. So finally, I'm going to finish these off with the Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat, which is my favourite matte top coat. It is a really, really nice top coat. So I'm going to give them all a coat of this matte top coat, cure them in the lamp for 30 seconds, and that will be them all done, guys. You'll also see there that I stuck some crystals on that pinky nail. There we are. What do you think? I think they're really, really cute. I'm not sure whether I should have maybe gone over the ghost with that same pigment, you know, so it matches the other nails. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys, whether I should have put some Aurora pigment over it or not. So, as always, you'll see there in the top right-hand corner of the screen, I've got a Madam Glam discount code for you guys, which is GG30. To use my discount code, Head over to my description box and you'll find the Madam Glam link in there. I'll also pin it in the comments as well, guys. So that's everything for this video. I really hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell with your notifications turned on. That way you'll never miss an upload. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.